Hello and welcome to this training session on the Welsh Allen CP150 ECG machine. This film has been designed to show you what you get when you buy the ECG, how to take auto, rhythm and stat ECGs, and to look at some of this versatile unit's main features. But first of all, let's look at the components. The ECG comes with a mains cable, a patient cable, a dust cover, ECG paper, ECG electrodes and 10 crocodile clips, one for each end of your patient cable. But today, for the purposes of this ECG, I'm going to be using a patient simulator. Now if you need help or advice on ECG preparation or lead placement, the unit also comes with a full colour poster giving useful tips on both. Assembling the components of the unit is really simple, beginning with the mains cable. The patient cable goes into the port at the front of the CP150. Push it in to the port and tighten the screws either side. Now once the patient cable is in, you can then fit the crocodile clips to your patient cable, one for each end. To get the paper into the ECG unit, press the blue button on the side, pull the paper tray out and then put your paper into the tray, making sure that facing you the white margin is at the top and the black square is at the bottom. When the paper is in place, lift one sheet and close the tray. When you've prepared your patient, taking a 10 second auto ECG is really simple. Simply switch the unit on and using the touch screen, select enter patient information. Then put your patient details in, the NHS or ID number, their age and their full name. Press OK. Press the forward button and enter the patient's gender. Forward button again. And you can preview the ECG traces in real time. Now when you're ready to take the test, press the print button and the unit will print out an A4 12 lead ECG report with interpretation. At the end of the ECG, you'll be given the option to reprint the test, save it or do the test again. Now, If you choose to save the test to the ECG memory, touch the save button and then choose the local option, followed by save. The memory of the CP150 can hold up to 100 ECGs, but if you'd rather save the ECG to a USB mass storage device, you can change the settings under auto report on the ECG unit. Then simply plug a USB storage device into a port at the back of the unit, press save and choose the USB mass storage device option, followed by save. The ECG saved on the USB stick can be attached to your patient record system as a PDF, but if you want the option to transfer the ECG from the unit to the Welsh Allen Cardio Perfect software first, then you'd need to buy the connectivity pack from your local Welsh Allen distributor. If you ever need to take a rhythm ECG, select Start Continuous Print on the home screen, followed by Start. And when you want to stop the test, touch the Stop button. To take a STAT ECG, that is, start the test immediately without any patient information, choose the STAT option in the home screen, followed by print. The interpretation on all STAT ECGs assumes the patient is a 35-year-old man. Standard auto or STAT ECG reports will show all 12 leads, a lead to rhythm strip and an interpretation. 
If you want to look at tests you've saved to the ECG unit before, touch the Saved Tests button in the home screen and under the heading Test Type, put a tick in the box marked All. Press Search and the list of patients whose ECGs have been saved in the memory will be displayed. Tick the one you want to look at and then you can delete, print or send the ECG to your PC or a mass storage device. You can also edit the patient details. That's the end of this Welsh Allen training session. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions on the CP150 or any other Welsh Allen products, please ring your local Welsh Allen distributor or our customer services department on 0207 365 6780.